Hey, hey I, I, I got something I want to share with you. I'd love your input on it, by the way. I'd like to know what you think about it. I want to talk to you about something near and dear to everybody's heart, money, why you don't have it, maybe why you've struggled with it, why I struggled with it for sure. Let me just give you a little walk around in my office first. I'm going to talk to you about money. I'm going to share three things with you about money that I promise you, if you just sink this in, it'll change everything for you, at least about money. And how you think about it, how you deal with your day, and how you spend your money, how you invest your money. Nobody ever taught me this. Man, I wish I would have known this, okay? This right here, money. What is it worth, really? Okay? Who decides what's it worth? Look at all these guys in here. Back here, you know what these guys are doing? They're on the phone trying to make money. So they will, by the way, they will make money. A lot of these guys make a lot of money back here. They'll make money. Then the question is going to be, what are they going to do with the money once they make it? You know, Warren Buffett says, people that learn how to earn passive income will be free one day from having to work for earned income. Meaning, the goal is, have more passive income than earned income. Those guys right now are earning income. The smart ones are going to figure out how to take their earned income and use the money to not just buy stuff. Uh, but to also uh, invest that money so the money does more than just buy junk. Because let's face it, let's just face it, okay? I mean, what is money really worth anyway? Who decides or determines what money is worth? So this money I've been showing to you, by the way, it's worthless, okay? Because I think it says it on here somewhere. This is a copy. This is fake money. This is not real money. This on the other hand, by the way, this on the other hand, is real money. Okay, real $100 bills, Ben Franklin's on them. There's no sign of copy. What are they worth? Are these worth any more than these? And if so, why? And who determines what they're worth? You know, when I was doing this, when we started this video and I was showing you this money, you, you thought this money had some value. Oh, by the way, the only value this money had was me using it to demonstrate this video to you. This money right here, this is the first lesson that you need to learn about money. This money right here, while you would give it more value, you would assign more value than this money over here because it's not a copy. This money, okay, only becomes valuable when it's used. I pulled this money out of this bag right here. If you ever see me rolling around with a bag, you can pretty much guarantee you need to pick up two or three grand. Oh, Grant's got his two or three grand emergency money right here, zipped up with a passport because I'm ready to leave the country at any given time. Now, now I'm dropping into why you want money, okay? Is that money valuable as it sits in that bag? Johnny would say no. Johnny, the camera guy, the guy shooting this, would say no. Is this passport valuable while it sits in the bag or the safe or in your back pocket? Dude, it's only valuable when you walk through and you want to leave the country and say, bang it, stamp it, hit it. Let's see where I've been lately. I'm getting ready to go to Mexico, London, Dublin, Dubai, India. Uh, let's see. I can't even read this. Where is that? I don't know. I don't forget. Oh, that was Russia or Bulgaria. <laughs> so when is the passport? Look, I need it all the time, right? I need the passport all the time. Passports, money. Okay, they're kind of like toilets. Uh, you, don't, you don't always use the toilet, but when you need it, you get it? Money, when is money worth something? Mo this money can only bring me peace of mind right now. I got my money in my bag in case something happens. This money does not become valuable though until I pull it out of the bag. Oh, here's some 50s and 20s plugged in there. How did that's they get that, it? That's the money that those people gave you on stage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so this money's only valuable when? Okay, first lesson I want to share with you. Money only becomes valuable when it is used. Money is not valuable in the bank. Money is not valuable sitting, waiting for your retirement. It might give you some peace of mind, some, some idea that you're, 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 you're going to be fined and you're going to be protected, you know, when you stop working and that you're going to be able to retire and live happily ever after because you have money sitting on a 401k or a retirement account or a IRA or you got a bunch of money sitting in a savings account. But the truth is you're, you, you can't produce money 
when it sits in a bank. Yeah. Money is only valuable, only valuable when it's used, okay? So, so if I want these sunglasses, right? Sunglasses protect my eyes, put them on, make me look cool, okay? I had to trade, I had to trade 500, I think it was $70. Ridiculous, I mean, just completely stupid. Because you know I'm gonna scratch them, or I'm gonna lose them, or they're gonna end up on my head like this, because that's what sunglasses all do. But I traded basically $570 of someone else's money, second lesson, all money is someone else's money, I'm writing these notes down because I don't want to forget, right? Okay, uh, because in life, uh, when you observe life, you will learn from life, okay? When I observe, when I learn, then I want to like duplicate it and replicate it, okay? Money's only valuable when it's used and all money, all money is someone else's money. It's not your money, right? And this is a problem people have because they're like, I get a little bit of money and then I want to, this is why I say never take advice from a millionaire. A millionaire gets a little bit of money and the first thing they want to do is protect their money. Guy makes 100 grand first time in his life, he wants to protect his 100. He makes 5,000 first time, he wants to protect it. He goes into protection rather than going out and getting more money. This is why people become complacent. This is why so many people, go out today and just ask people, hey, you making enough money? I guarantee you, 60 to 70% of the people you ask, ask 10 people, six to seven of them are gonna say, no, I'm good. They can barely make ends meet. No, I'm good, man. You wanna make more money? Uh, you know, money's not everything. Money won't make me happy. You know, I'm fine. They're making sense. They're complacent with what they have. Why? Because they're trying to protect it rather than they get, go get more of it. And by the way, they think that the money that they now have is theirs. Okay, back to the example. I want my sunglasses, okay? I got some money. Money's sitting around. I see these shades, I'm like, dude, I want those shades. Now, these shades can never make me money, but they can give me that cool look, right? Hey, by the way, comment if you like the shades. I think they're pretty sexy. By the way, I did not buy these shades because I would never spend $570. Somebody bought those shades for me. But just for the example, let's say that I traded $570 for these Versace's or whatever they are. Um, that money gets used. I get my sunglasses, I look cool. Now the question is, was it worth it? Was it worth the money, okay? Obviously whoever bought me these shades would rather have given me a gift of these shades than the $570. Your normal reaction, my reaction would be this, there's no way those sunglasses are worth $570. But I want you to think about it in a different way. The person that bought me these sunglasses, who I have a complete total image of right now, good dude, generous guy, smart guy, spent $570 of someone else's money, put the money to use, rule number one, put money to use, gave me the shades, a gift to me, wrote it off as a tax deduction, and built his business. Because I know him now, he knows me, and he paid for a connection. Okay, money is only valuable when it's used. Number two, money is never yours. Money, all, all money that you will have today, all money that you have in the bank, all money you will have in the future is someone else's money. It sits in their hands and it waits. The third rule I wanna give you is this. Once you get surplus money, once you get surplus money, the most important rule in money is earn it, keep it. Three, the third rule is how do I get money to multiply? How do I get money to multiply so that I have money coming in from different sources, all right? Follow me around again, and, and, and I'm gonna show you how we do this, all right? You need different sources, okay? I'll give you one example right now. We're doing our 10X growth conference, okay? You have to have sources coming in from different places. There's gotta be money coming in from different places. This is called multiple flows of income. One example, one project, okay? You would never assign one seat. What you want is this. Okay, I want a bunch of different seats. I want ambassador seats at 95 bucks. Hero seats I'm giving away. Literally giving these away to firemen. Why would I, why would I give two and a half million dollars worth of seats away if money's so valuable? By the way, this money is only as valuable as we assign value to it, okay? Super lesson. Money is only as valuable as the people that have it assign value to it. 
I thought it was more valuable for me to have 5,000 people, firemen, policemen, Marines, Army, Navy, uh, nurse, nurses, first responders. I thought it more valuable for me to give those seats away and get sponsors to support me in giving those seats away and help people that literally work their asses off every day and are underpaid constantly. I mean, can you imagine being a fireman paid 70 grand a year to walk into a building and maybe lose your life? But that's what they do. How about the policeman? Nobody likes him. Nobody respects him. He's paid sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year to protect people that don't like him. Okay. So what I did was I gave away a bunch of these seats. I have a real estate section here. These seats are like twenty five hundred bucks. VIPs are uh, five thousand. Premiers are ten thousand, and diamonds are fifteen grand. Why would somebody give me fifteen thousand dollars of their money? No, no, somebody else's money. Why? Because they want to use money to get access to me and Steve Harvey, right? See, they're thinking right. You understand? So what you want is the third lesson here is you need multiple flows of income. You need your, your money invested. Once you earn money, get multiple flows of income going. Starbucks has how many different coffees there? They don't just have coffee. They got frappuccinos, they got tea, they got cappuccinos, they got espressos. Come this way. Macchiatos. They got macchiatos. Thank you. Lattes. Okay. Let's see, what am I trying to show you right here? Multiple flows of income. I'll give you another example. I've written, I've written a number of books, okay? Wrote a book called The Millionaire Booklet. By the way, if you want this book, I'll give it to you. All you got to do is hit the link below. I'll give you that book. I wrote a book on closing the sale. The Closer Survival Guide. Why am I telling you this? I'm not advertising my products to you right now. What I'm doing right now is showing you, you need multiple flows of income, okay? I got a real estate book. You can get this book for free, grantcardone.com forward slash free books. Uh, oh, golly, I want it for free. You know, because people think free is good. Because people are all hung up on money. Okay. I don't want anything free. I mean, I'll take it if you give it to me for free, but more, I can't read it to you for free. Okay. It's the content you want, not the price that matters. The price of something doesn't matter as much as the value inside of it. The 10 X rule. That's the fourth book I wrote. Sell or be sold. First book I wrote. If you're not first, you're last. A New York, uh, New York times bestseller. Seven books. I think that's seven books. Three, six. Yeah. The real estate book. Something's missing in here. 13 business programs, okay? Why is that important? Because you need lots of inventory. You need lots of inventory. So what I, what I do, I exchange time, energy, and money to write these books so I could distribute different titles, different subjects to lots of people so that I could do what? Connect with people. We're told as kids, save your money, protect your money, don't waste money, okay? Don't play with money. Folks, money, money is useless. Number one, money's useless till it's used. Number two, all money is somebody else's money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay? Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Those are 40 people I give money to. That's valuable. I trade my money or someone else's money with them so they work on my projects. I give them money, I give them a place to work, I give them a mission, I give them an objective, and I trade money for that. This is the thing so many of us don't know, okay? By time. Buy time. There's two more guys outside. Buy time. How do you buy time? This is what all the super wealthy people do. Super wealthy people all buy time. I've been studying wealthy people since I was probably 20, 20, 19 or 20 years old. So Shari will have One, two, three, four, five, six more. Okay. I got a refrigerator back here. I got an ice box. I got a kitchen, okay? Now, I have to spend money for this. I bought this building. I gave uh, $16 million for this building. So my people, $16 million, stroked the check to get the bank out so I could have this place. A refrigerator, electricity, all this costs money. Why? Why am I telling you this right now? Because from the age of 15, when I first started being highly interested in being an entrepreneur, to the age of 45, 30 years, 
I did not know this. I held on to my money, my money, by the way, it was my money. <laughs> Lesson two, no money is your money. All money is someone else's money. Everything I, I bought this place for whatever I paid for it, uh, 16 million, okay? I, I did that with somebody else's money. You see these guys back here? See all these guys? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I got another forty-five people back here. Okay. Damien, good, good. Look at this guy right this here. He's Michael talking. Grant Cardone's Who's he talking office. to right now? Just He's talking to, to somebody to you, else. You know, I'm literally just thinking about to you. get their money. I know we're Who's, excited. It's somebody else's money. You understand? Guys this is the most level. important, so simple call, lesson you will ever learn about money. My number eight one six. Okay. He's on the phone talking to somebody else. Everything that you want in your life. By the way, Mike Bonnet's got four kids, a beautiful wife. Okay. He works his ass off six days a week, sometimes seven. Why? So he can get money. And then he takes that money, he takes care of his family. He takes care of his mom, his dad. He gets rid of the money. He doesn't keep the money. You guys that have money in a bank account right now, in a savings account, in a retirement account, what are you doing? All you're doing is feeding the bank. You're feeding the bank. Curtis, ask, ask Kayla to open up the other side. You're feeding the bank. The bank wants you to keep, to keep money in the bank. You guys have all been told, save your money, save your money. You gotta save your money, save your money. What for? Use money. Use money. Quit worrying about the money. Worry about making a phone call, okay? Worry about time. Worry about how to be more effective and more productive. Look at this guy right here. This guy's, this guy's a killer. So, so look, what, what are some things you can buy with money? You can buy fancy cars. Everybody needs a car. I mean, unless Uber's gonna pick you up and bring you back and forth to work every day. You don't need this. This is stupid. It's just ridiculous. I mean, this is dumb. Unless I can figure out how to write it off. Right? This car's plenty enough car. This is Ron Secco. This is what he drives to work. He pays 300 bucks a month for this. It's not a good investment. But, it, but he needs a car to get back and forth to work, okay? This is Robert Sislow's car. Robert, she opened it. Robert Sislow's car. He's got a little car. He's making a little money. It makes him feel good, okay? But but look, if you're gonna spend all your time and energy on fancy belts, here's my fancy belt. Okay, there's my fancy belt that I found on sale for $19. That, that belt ain't gonna make me money. Holds up my damn pants. And maybe if I make the smart decisions with money, what would be worth more? This money or the 500 it cost me for that flag? Okay. See, see, the way I was brought up, you wouldn't spend this money to advertise your brand. You'd keep the money and never get your brand out. Or would I rather trade somebody else's 500, you remember, all money is someone else's money, to get my Cardone Capital flag up? I'm teaching you a lesson about money right now that your mom and your dad didn't teach you. This is a lesson you have to learn, okay? Am I better off going into the marketplace, working really hard, collecting enough money from other people, okay? Going through the rejection, going, persisting through all the turndowns and, and the no-shows and the disappointments so that one day I can buy a building and put my name on it so people can come here and I can expand my brand some more, okay? See, that would be a smart use of money. Or maybe because I'm having trouble with the tenant and because I'm so committed to my expansion, a bank was here. And so rather than, by the way, I was renting from the bank. <laughs> the bank was my tenant. And I bought the building and the bank became, I'm sorry, I was the tenant's bank. Uh, I was the bank's tenant. And I flipped the deal, bought the building from them and we're expanding into this space, right? So, what am I telling you this for? Okay, would you rather have a house? Where am I walking you through an empty building right now, dude? I don't own my own home. I own my own office building, right? Now I can kick it through, I can come back through here. So we would indicate that here. I didn't know we can come in through here. Yeah, well, that's because nobody knows that, dude. It's a secret, secret thing. Now I can't go back that way though. Okay, I got trapped. All right. So 
See, I want access. I want space. I want to be able to hire people. I want to be able to blow through that wall over there. Blow through that wall. I'm going to create a course room so I can bring clients from all over the world here that can spend three and four days doing courses with us so I can educate more people. Okay, back to money. Back to money. What am I talking about? This is my accounting department. How you doing? Accounting department, good people right here, okay? They count the money. They don't make money. By the way, I don't make money either. I collect money. I get attention, I collect money, I exchange valuable, valuable things, things more valuable than money. I trade books, information, education, webinars, uh, events, speaking engagements, uh, coaching. We exchange things with people. Everything you want, someone else has it, okay? We exchange valuable resources, information, hacks with people. Those people exchange money with us. By the way, the guy that paid the $570 for these shades, man, I thank you, dude. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of business together because you traded $570 of somebody else's money to give me a beautiful gift. To make me look cool. And I'd have never bought these shades. I would have never ever bought these shades because I'm cheap. I'm cheap, I'm telling you, I was brought up to be cheap. I'm looking for the best deal. My whole life I've been looking for the best deal when I should have been looking for the best people. I should have been looking the whole time to sit with these people, okay? To sit in a room for three days with 35,000 entrepreneurs to sit with them and figure out what are you doing, okay? How do we connect? How do we network? I was not educated, trained how to network. I was trained how to work and save my money. Remember what Warren Buffett said. He said, look, the person that never invests will spend their entire life, their entire life working for income. Okay, once you get your money, you gotta invest it. So, so things that I buy today, when I accumulate enough money, first thing I do is I invest all of it in my business. I showed you, I bought a business there. I rented this place. This place is gonna cost me 10 million, it's Marlin Stadium, $10 million. I'm trading $10 million. Russell Brunson said, how, how, you, how do you do that, dude? I said, dude, I'm trading $10 million of somebody else's money uh, to have to have uh, to have this park right here. Let me just show it to you real quick. 10x to rent a park to rent Marlin Stadium for three days, so I can bring people together and spend time with clients, uh, investors. So is that a good exchange? Does money have any value, really? Okay. What's what's it worth? $10 million to run your own event or $10 million cash? What would you rather have? Okay. Would you rather $50 million cash or $50 million and you can go anywhere in the world anytime you want? As far as you want, as long as you want. At a moment's notice. Okay. What would you rather have? I'd love to have, post in comments, what would you rather have? $10 million or run a three-day event would you rather $55 million or your own jet? You gotta make a decision. What if you had all the money you wanted but you didn't, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get a passport? How much money would you pay for a passport if you wanted to get out of the country you live in? Anything, okay? You got people coming from South America right now trying to get in America, they'll do anything for this passport, anything. Money's not as valuable as you think it is, but you need it, okay? So number one lesson, remember, money's only valuable when you use it too. All oh, money is someone else's money. I bought this jet, not this model. They gave me the model, okay? I bought the jet with someone else's money. When you get this impregnated into your head, into your cranium, dude, your life is going to change, okay? But you gotta quit wasting money on garbage. The third thing is this, when you start investing, invest in assets that are real. So, so, so one, the last thing I want to tell you, use your money as an investment. If it, it's not going to make you more money, like other than food, water, housing, you need a place to keep you warm. 
all other money, all other money, except for basic living, all other money should be one tax deductible and two should make you more money or at least have the potential to make you more money. Listen, I only spend money, my own money, I would never buy those sunglasses. But I would buy a studio. See, I would use the money for a studio. I wasn't taught this. I spent five years in college. They didn't teach me in college what to spend my money on. I'd, I'd spend it on a, on, on a 10, 10 or 12, uh, what are those called back there, guys? Monitors. Screens, okay? I'd spend it on a smart board so I could educate people. I'd spend, spend it on a studio. I, I would trade somebody else's money that's now my money with Francisco, so now it's his money so he can create great video with me. I'd do the same thing with Nathan, right? So I'd have lights, I'd spend money on lights. Why? One is tax deductible, and two, number two, it has the potential to make me more money, okay? Look, I hope you got a lot out of this. If you don't know who I am, check me out. I know this was a long-winded video. Sometimes you just need to spend money to eat. They absolutely love them. Don't so they? that you can make money, earn income. So one time in the future, sometime in the future, you can invest money and you never have to worry about eating again. Go wherever you want, when you want. And rather than buying dumbass sunglasses, one day you can make a dumbass decision like a damn private jet put your name on the back by the way tax deduction with the potential to make money there's my three tips hope you enjoyed them post below if you did hey by the way if you didn't don't just hit dislike tell me why don't just be a punk tell me why you didn't like the video have you given up on money yet maybe that's why you didn't like it Baby, 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 baby.